Tanya, why do you have a brick? Hi pumpkins, it's Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be decorating our front porch for fall. Let's get started. I always like to begin by showing you how the porch looks undecorated. To save time, I went ahead and had my son hang up those fall leaves. I always like to start by placing a wreath on my front door. The next thing I like to do is layer my rugs. I'll begin with this scatter rug and then I'll add this pumpkin rug on top. The next item or items I'll be using are these bushel baskets and I'm going to place one on each side of my front door. The next items I'll be using are a bit unconventional and you might be asking yourself, Tanya, why do you have a brick, a bag of plastic bags and a paper bag. Well, I'm gonna show you. Okay, my friends, so I'm like most of you and I'm on a budget. I can't just run out and get any new thing I want to create a look for my home, especially when I'm decorating for the holidays. So sometimes I just need to be resourceful and work with what I have. For instance, today I knew I had these apple bushel baskets that I had used a few years ago and I wanted to reuse them again. However, they just weren't tall enough. Yes, ideally I would have loved to run out and get some new pots to do this, but it just wasn't in the budget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bricks and use them to give me height underneath these apple bushel baskets to create the height I need on my front porch. I'm just gonna simply put them right here up against the door and I'm going to stack them to get the exact height that I need. And then I will place my apple bushel basket right on top. Once I fill this in, you won't even see these. Again, for my next tip, keeping budgets in mind, I am planning on placing an item in here, which I'll show you in just a minute. But before I do that, rather than buying a bunch of that item to fill the basket from the bottom to the top, I'm going to use some grocery store plastic bags and fill those in at the bottom and then place my fall item on top, therefore using less. just like that. Now, because I don't want my grocery store bags to show on top, I'm going to take another recyclable item, which is these paper brown bags from our local grocery store. I'm going to cut it up and then place it on top to create a brown barrier that matches the basket. Then I'll go in with my filler on top for fall. I'm just going to simply cut it right here so that I can create an opening so that I can use it to cover the top of my apple bushel basket. Let's see here. I'll need to cut in some slits right here. Obviously, I had not done this before. This is kind of trial and error. This was me brainstorming yesterday on what can I do to cover up the white plastic without going to the store and spending money. And this is what I came up with. And let's see if it works. Uh-oh, it's starting to rain, you all. I've been racing against the rain today and I think the rain just got me. You might be able to hear it, it's starting now. Oh no! <laughs> okay, it looked like it stopped. It was just a few little drops and then it stopped. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, I basically opened it up and I am gonna start filling in the top here of this. I actually might be able to just cut this portion off. I didn't know how much of it I was going to need. So I'm just gonna cut this part off because we don't really need that part. Oh, sorry, there we go. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna cut this portion off. And then I'm going to just put it in here to cover up the white from my grocery store bag. 
doesn't have to be neat just as long as it covers it up. That's all you're trying to do. There we go. Just like that. What says fall to me? Well, fall leaves, of course. I'm going to take this fall leaf garland and simply just wrap it around in a circle and use the leaves as filler in my apple bushel basket. Looks like a basket full of fall leaves. And now my friends, we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. So to the apple bushel basket with leaves, I'm going to be adding in this beautiful metal pumpkin stake. Yes, it's a lawn decoration, but I'm going to be utilizing it on my front porch. And to mix things up, I'll be adding this one in as well. A little side story is when I was planning out my front porch display, I knew I had a set of two of these and my intention was to place them inside the bushel baskets. But when my son went into the attic and pulled down my fall decor bins, I then realized that my husband and I had purchased these last year and I had a set of two. So that was a really great, sweet fall surprise. So because of that, I will be incorporating both sets into my fall display. Since my original idea was to place two of these on each side of my front door, that's what I was gonna go with until I asked for my son for his opinion. And I brought him outside and I said, well, now that we've got two styles of pumpkins to work with, which one should I put in the basket and which ones do I put up here by the front walkway? So he knew I was going for a symmetrical look this year. I really had my heart set on symmetry. And he says, well, I don't know if you're gonna like this idea, but what if you try switching them up? And I said, sure, let's switch it up. Let's see what happens. We did it and I loved it. It's still symmetrical, which you're gonna see, but symmetry with a twist. So I am simply going to take this pumpkin and place it right here towards the back side of my bushel basket to create some visual interest on this side. Then I'm going to take my son's suggestion and mix it up. I'm going to place this other style of pumpkin on this side. And now to cover up those bricks, I'm going to be adding in some mums. Since my porch is small, I'm going to extend it by adding some decor right down here. Here comes the rain again. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side. Talk about getting something done right in the nick of time. It is pouring rain. But we needed it. Are you ready for the reveal?
All right, my pumpkins, that wraps up today's fall front porch decorate with me video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Please comment down below and let me know what was your favorite piece of decor from today's video. Also, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can see all my upcoming fall decorating videos in my fall decorating series. There's still lots more fall fun decorating to be had. I still need to decorate our coffee bar, kitchen, entryway, living room, fall tree, and dining room. So I hope you'll join me. If you're needing some more fall front porch decorating inspiration, please check out my videos from the past three years. I'll link them in the description below. Last year's video is actually my most watched video here on YouTube. As always, I thank you for spending a part of your day with me, and I hope to see you on the next one. Happy fall, y'all. Bye. All right, my honey bunnies. No. <laughs> oh my gosh.